To flash a tune with the original version Power Vision, ensure that it's connected to the diagnostic port, ignition on, run stop, switch in the run position. From the main menu, select Program Vehicle, Load Tune. From the Tunes page, you'll have a few different options. Dynojet Preconfigured Tunes, those are tunes that are loaded during the update process. They're tunes that we provide for most applications. There's also the Custom Tunes list. This is going to be the eight custom tune slots where any tunes that you load would be available. You would simply choose the tune from the slot that you'd like to flash. Make sure that it's highlighted. And hit the select button. Instead, we're going to go to DinoJet Preconfigured Tunes. This will read the ECU and show you tunes that are specific to the year, model, and the engine size. We'll choose the tune that we want, hit select, and it'll take you to a brief description of the tune itself. Verify that's the tune you want, and then simply select continue. From here, you'll see those eight custom tune slots again. You'll need to load it into one of those slots. Choose any slot, hit select. Again, if there's anything in that slot, it'll be overridden. It's then going to take you to the Flash Tune page. Go ahead and select Flash. Now, if the tune itself has not been updated with the very latest firmware and tune database, the PowerVision itself will do that. And you'll see a list like this, just showing things that may have been added, removed, or fixed. You can scroll the list if desired to see what was changed, and then hit Flash. The last thing the power vision is going to ask in this process is if you would like to reset the learned fuel trim values. I would always tell it yes. Always a good idea. After just another few moments, the ECU will have been flashed. You'll see a message to turn the motorcycle off for 10 seconds. Do that for at least 10 and you're ready to ride.